I'm Maya Palacio for Media Maya, partnered with Channel 82. And today I'm here with a former Premier in the year of 2003, Premier Alex Scott. Now, Mr. Scott, can I actually call you Premier or Mr. What's the title that you want to be used with? If I had my druthers, I'd say Alec, but I don't want to get you in, you're in trouble. So you can call me whatever you want. I will call you Premier Scott. I always think it's good to keep Thanks. that balance. <laughs> I mean, you're a premier, you're going to always be premier to me. Okay, so let's jump right into this conversation because I had initially talked to you about social media and this day and age in my generation and your past generation. So my first question to you actually is, do you know what Twitter is? Yes. Don't know how to use it. <laughs> Can you explain to me right now, very really simply, what is Twitter? Twitter is a very effective way of making short uh, communication um, links with friends and all. All right. I would say that's pretty accurate. <laughs> All right, so as what? being a former politician, and if you know a little bit about Twitter and what it does now today, a lot of our government and officials are all over Twitter right now, using yeah. major different platforms. It could either be Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, but for this conversation, Twitter. And they're able to just put out their opinions, put out their views in an instant, and that all of us kind of connect with them and see that. Now, if you had that option back in the day, would you use it? Sparingly. Sparingly. Very sparingly. And why sparingly? Because too much information makes you too familiar, and therefore when you really want to make an important point, folks are hearing you so often that they don't listen uh, for that particular moment, for that particular point you want them to pay special attention to. So when they see the premiere, it should be a rare occasion rather than a Trumpian experience. Mm. Okay, that's a, that's a good viewpoint to see it. But I have to argue the fact that even during the pandemic, though, having it, yes. having it has been quite a good resource for the people of Bermuda yes. to be in constant alertness about what's going on. Um, so, other than that circumstance, you're saying that on a general, in an everyday lifestyle, they really shouldn't be putting out their viewpoints every day like they do? Well, I would operate probably at two levels. There would be the Twitter release statement, short piece, but there would be also using the main media, print or electronic, to reach the many folks who aren't on Twitter. and. Um, uh, I don't know the universe in Bermuda who are frequenting Twitter. So therefore, who am I talking to or who am I missing or who am I leaving out when it is an important national point uh, you want to get out? The Twitter audience may be hundreds, maybe thousands, but they may not be some of the key people. It may be a point for seniors. I don't know how many seniors Yeah, are. you got a point because even though the government here is still like puts out on all the other platforms. Yes. They still do. Um, Twitter specifically is for, to be honest, my generation. Yes. My generation is like the main source for why they would use Twitter. Yes. But it's also been known that my generation, let's be clear, I'm from the age group of, let's say, 20 to 30 would be, be me. <laughs> I'm 23. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm from the age group of 70 to 80. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, and you probably won't, okay, I get it, you probably won't be on Twitter. But I still want to try to, Try to get a viewpoint from your perspective as to back in your time, though. Yes. Back in your time, if this was, you know, something that you could have, would you allow all your ministers to have their own platform? Oh, I would never say no to anyone who felt comfortable with it, uh, because they would be, they would be reaching their audience. They would be reaching a audience. But when I think in terms of the government's audience, I want to know the demographic that is being included with Twitter or with um, uh, uh, WhatsApp or whatever else is out there. But they have algorithms now, so you can actually check that. Yeah, but the person has to live on the um, uh, electronic media, on the um, social media for even the algorithm to work for them. Uh, I go uh, on, um, uh, what is it now, YouTube. And they know that I follow uh, F1, so therefore if I'm on F1, Formula One racing, 
uh, up comes a local ad. Or if I'm following them, travel north, up comes a local. But uh, my wife is not any of those things. She's sitting right beside me. Um, the information from if it was a government would be important to her, but she'll never see it because she never uses YouTube. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, it, she does pick up the Royal Gazette. She will listen to them um, uh, hot. So to reach her and her friends, to reach others like her, uh, you can use YouTube, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp. She's on WhatsApp. So um, uh, yes, it's a tool. I think it's becoming more and more important, but your question initially was, in yesteryear, would you use it? I was one of the first to start using um, the BlackBerry and all. But others were saying, how, how do you use that? Why do you use that? Emails were exceptional uh, then. But um, um, I would get on it and um, uh, utilize it and wonder why the others didn't utilize it more. Uh, but. Uh, when it came to an important uh, statement, I sat down before the cameras, ZBM, ZFB, or whoever it was at the time, VSB, and um, uh, made a national statement. But that's because it was the only choice there? That was because it was the only choice. I would have included a Twitter. Uh, if you could have. If I could. I, okay. the, the communication lady, Mrs. Lattimore, who managed us uh, from a communication point of view, she would have certainly have said, Premier, uh, you'll want to get a, a, this statement out on Twitter. So I said, well, summarize it and put it out. <laughs> OK, awesome. All right, so we're going to uh, end it right there for a moment, and then we'll be right back with a few Twitter games.